<laughs> I have not. What is what is that? What is that? Devin, you live in the Mecca of Manhattan, so we're you would know every time I thought on the other Talk about it after the set. Why does Dar ask me? All I know is chopped cheese. Been driving bullet? And bacon, egg, and cheese. We are going to be seeing Ralphie and Lai. Lai actually going to be going with Sheik. That was surprising. Didn't see Lai Sheik before. I only saw him play uh, Cannon, maybe a little bit of Falco as well. Um, Ralphie not able to connect back after the neutral. Right now, he's holding stage pretty, pretty strong, um, but was slightly underestimated. Um, I guess Lai's ability to jump in. Man, it's like I'm watching Smash Ball all over again. Yeah, so Paolo, my favorite it's, Smash Ball kid. Except. Yeah. <laughs> you know the one. Yeah. I used to see Paolo switch the sheets in four. I mean, granted, it was like. Where? West Coast? It'd be like that, that one of the good times. Like, yeah, my boy. Yeah. Like, wow. I love how you. I love how you don't even have like a specific location in mind. You just have West Coast. Like, like a like a two GG match. Like you see Void and you see like that really good Halo player. I forgot his name. And then they just fight. I forgot his name. <laughs> I told you. That's awfully oh convenient for you. There were there were there were Smash Four problems. They existed there. There was like it, five. It made up. It was five. <laughs> But Ralphie able to get the track down neutral into up tilt, especially at that percent. It's such a good and consistent kill confirm. Um, yeah, no, I just I love it every time somebody goes for it. And especially the low ceiling on Smashville um, helps a whole bunch. Ralphie just holding the stage Sick so run. well. Damn, he's just jumping over your hit. It's rough. It's rough. I feel like Lai is kind of struggling to initiate. I feel like every single time he's getting a hit, um, it's not like converting into something else. He's not able to get a lot of his combo starters off. Um, and that's definitely hurting him quite a bit right now. Oh my god, Ralphie going so deep. That was so good. Good job, buddy. Uh, that was a good dash card. I'm proud of you. And then they're trying to... Mm -hmm. I like the D.I.N. from Lai. Uh, definitely like a good mix up, catching Ralph off guard and not able to connect his third neutral, but already able to connect 43%. Very true, as a uh, Sheik's moves are getting like really stuffed here by Paul Tennis active hitboxes. The, the Sheik would make the right read at the same time as Palu, and it's just gonna come in and just, just hit you first, just, no matter what. <laughs> And look at that, he tried to Very fall down aggressively with the neutral, but Ralph was just able to armor through it with his dash attack. Yeah, no, I don't think Sheik is looking like the play here right now. He is, I mean, I don't want to say Lai is getting bodied, but, um, you know, if he were a chicken wing, he'd be getting sauced right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, like right here. I can find this with the up tilt. You got these, yeah. Yeah. Very, very hard to fight right there. Hmm, that was a pretty tough Lai, game. Ralph if just... Lai wants to play Sheik for game number two, I'd probably uh, say to try to try to be a little more like away from the Palatine, like keep away game here, yeah. as as your buttons are not gonna like be. Oh, absolutely buttons. not. So, yeah. Yeah. You know Sheik's hitboxes. You know no matter how fast they're, no matter how safe they're, they, they are relatively stubby in comparison to Palutena's, and. I just think Lai sort of struggled to get any of his main combo starters off. I think um, his punish just was mainly mostly non-existent because it seemed like Ralph was in control of the momentum the entire game. Um, so going into game two, I would just like to see maybe... Yeah, Lai would definitely have to play a little bit more to keep away. I just want to keep say it's something as simple as like, yeah, he was getting hit a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, if he's, if he's getting hit a lot, he's being put in positions where like he's like forced to be in that situation from like one straight hit from Palutena because Palutena is really good at doing that and if you're trying to like fight her with your buttons like expect her to either like win the trade or just win outright with a character like Sheik and her buttons now oh so still going Sheik all right maybe something can change in game number two on Battlefield gonna be opting for Battlefield. I, I, you know what? I don't know a whole lot about Sheik. I'm not gonna pretend like I know something here. Um, you see Ralph going through the neutral and into F tilt. I don't think the F tilt was intentional. I think he might have wanted to go through like a dash attack or something. Um, you know that's usually the most commonest. But, but you know, I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> it's fine. 
I'm just going off of from what I'm seeing visually here in this matchup, where I see like Sheik would like try to uh, read a get up option with the neutral jump uh, Nair, right? Paul would just do Nair right back and just like hit her right out of it. <laughs> but now we actually see like keeping it even for the first time in the entire set. Um, he's holding the corner super, super well, being really, really patient with it. Ooh. I love the fact that he used side B there um, in order to be able to cover the teleport with his own body. Trying to wall out Sheik with uh, some buttons, like some forward airs or short, some short hops right there. Very tough as she can run with uh, that armor point dash attack right there. One of her greatest tools. Mm -hmm. And that gave him all the momentum to take that stock there too. Now the nares are coming into play again. Ooh, nice teleport cancel right there from Ralphie. Move around real quick. Ralph is just waiting. Ralph is standing his ground. He's waiting for Eli to push him. Um, and then, and then as soon as like he gets a hit, he just becomes all. He he basically gets all up in Eli's face. I want to say. Yeah, Eli having a tough time taking the stock right now. Mhm. Mm Very. I like that. Like, I don't um, know what to say here. <laughs> yeah, I, what I want to say about Ralph's gameplay, I really like that he's not going for a lot of explosive flames or um, auto reticles because Sheik definitely has the mobility to be That's... able to maneuver around it. Oh, and yeah, that backfield was just keeps us gone. Super very massive strength. She just has got his arms, man. Pretty 43% and holding the sledge super tight. Ralph going through the early down tilts. Not able to find the two frame quite yet. Ah, uh, like he had the right idea, but slightly missed uh, the execution on the back end. He's just struggling to take the there stock. Right oh my god, you know, as soon as I say he's struggling to take the stock, he takes it. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, Lai has a lot of work ahead of him just to see if he can get some hits in. Oh, that was a spike. That was crazy. I really like that after Ralph hit the neutral air, he just immediately dropped down and ran up to try to get a dash attack because like he started noticing that Lai is playing way too safely, he's DIing out, he's trying to reset neutral as fast as possible by by uh, snapping onto the ledge and, and Ralph was just able to capitalize onto that so well. Yeah, Ralph is doing a good job of keeping himself like, close to Lai to force him to interact mm -hmm. and uh, hitting him out of it. It's pretty good stuff right here, as Lai is having trouble trying to get at least a decent hit and just to start his combo train and start getting hits in, get momentum back. Mm -hmm. You see Ralphie starting to go for the drag down neutral Um Lai has to respect it because if he even gets hit with a couple of those hits, that's going to be the up tilt and that's going to be his stock. I don't know what Ralphie was going for there. Yeah, you're a little ahead of me. Okay. Too bad for you. Yeah, oh. that's... That's pretty good stuff from Ralph right there. Just kept patient, got his hits in, and just waited for Eli to make his mistakes and hit him out of it. Uh, oh, Mia. Yeah, Ralph is all over Eli right now. He's doing a great job. Yeah, since this is his best three out of five, we're going to see another game of this. Uh, Wait a second. Um, I think Cog streams, doesn't he? He's streaming the match that he's playing on Wi-Fi. To like taking up the extra bandwidth. Mm. No, just just the thought I had. That's just yeah, that's uh something unrelated to the set. So yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll 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 solve it on their own mm -hmm. if they can. Before I just have to DQ on them. I don't know. I don't know the rules. <laughs> Help her handle it. Uh, so yeah, maybe Lai could go for a character switch or. Maybe try to play like numbers gymnastics, numbers gymnastics over here. Just try to see if he can find a way to hit Palutena. Mm -hmm. It's very rough for Sheik to do, from what I'm saying. Of course, Sheik to do against uh, Ralphie because Ralphie, Ralphie like look, like looks practice. <laughs> he looks like he's he's prepared for this matchup. Ah, switching the can for game number three. Okay, the reverse three zero is incoming. I'm done. I'm done. Like. <laughs> It could, it could happen. Why going his main Ken? And Ralphie's sticking with the Palutena here on PS2 for game number three. 
Oh, yep. oh, good start here with a good decent percentage. And even though this might not be like a better matchup for Ken, I just think this is Lai's main. You know, this is more so for comfort. I think just when he was like playing with Sheik, he wasn't doing a whole lot, if that makes sense. The entire game just sort of like felt like he was in Valkyrie's control. He would get like a grab or a forward, uh, forward air in like a couple times, but he wasn't getting setups or uh, good damage off of it. And then it'd just be like the tug of war game would be won by Ralphie and Ralphie would take mm. the stuff. Almost Very connecting the double explosive flame um, because, oh my that god, I love active. that action. That was so active. That was so good. That was hype. Yeah, when you have a hitbox on your recovery, so usually Ken and Ryu's recovery isn't as exploitable if they're going through and below. Um, the horizontal recovery is definitely really punishable, but having a counter just definitely helps with any recovery that has a hitbox on the way up. Yeah, once Ralph they seems active to... with power pillars too, that was a really good draw up there. Yeah, it didn't even need to kill, it just needed to push him back enough. Oh, the air dodge. Oh, solid confirm there from Ralphie. Wow, this game three for Ralph is just looking so, so good for him right now. Ralphie's all game plan right here. Just again, these straight hits with the Nair. Taking them he off tried to go, Yeah, He tried to t finish it all with the double back here. Um, well, I didn't opt for the low recovery. Yeah, he went high, anticipating that. Yeah, Ralphie doesn't have to go in like this, but he wants to end this as fast as possible, so... I think you can definitely slow it down a little bit just to make a slide go to him. Hold on, yeah. Is she like for you? Oh, no kill. Okay, that's gonna kill. Good stuff to lie with getting his confirm right there. <laughs> Probably using the invincibility he gets off the platform just to try to read up a forward smash. Aims the wrong way though. Oh, he's trying to go for a roll lead. Either way, still a good idea to do when you have the invincibility off the platform when you come back. Yeah, but Lai has a mountain to climb. He's down two games Ooh, well. Heavy. Yeah. That's this it. is the difference right here between like, playing Sheik right there and playing Ken. Ken is a little bit heavier to survive that, but still no, less but definitely the not going to live the back end. Yeah. Good stuff to Rafi for taking it 3-0. We're going to see 